This is an example mitten that I have my students knit in my Sami mitten class. The Sami people live in the northern reaches of Scandinavia and Russia. They have been nomadic in the past, and some perhaps still are. Some of them raise and uh, herd the reindeer. And this is a type of mitten that they might wear to church or for special occasions. Certainly their work mittens would be made of leather from the reindeer. But I'd like to teach this cast on today. It makes a beautiful braid. You use three colors. Um, you can also use four, but today we'll just work with three. So I'm going to take my three yarns that I have here and I'm going to use a short tail for my long tail cast on that I'm going to use. I'm not going to be using the tails at all, but rather working with the yarns that are still attached to the ball. So this cast on really utilizes the long tail method and you're only working with two yarns at a time. So the third yarn is held out of the way while you work with two yarns. So I, I also like to keep the little short tails out of the way. I hold them underneath my right hand. And I'm going to place one yarn over my thumb and one yarn over my index finger. And I'll cast on one stitch with this third yarn just waiting in the wings. Now, the key to this cast on is to always rotate your yarns in a clockwise direction. So, that means I'm going to drop the yellow yarn. It will now be waiting in the wings. The white yarn goes from my thumb to my index finger, and the burgundy yarn will come over my thumb now. And I will cast on another stitch. And again, drop the yarn that's over my index finger, pick up the yarn I hadn't used last time to be over my thumb, and the yarn that was over my thumb goes over my index finger. Don't include your slip knot in your stitch count. It's too bulky to remain in the knitting, so take it out once you're done casting on all your stitches. If you happen to rotate your yarns in a counterclockwise direction, you won't get the same effect. And in fact, I have found that that edge tends to flip up, whereas this one will not. If you ever get lost as to where you're, where you're at while you're casting on, just know that the yarn that's over your index finger is going to make the stitch on the needle. And you're Stitches should be in order, yellow, white, burgundy, yellow, white, burgundy, yellow, white, burgundy, yellow. So white needs to go over my index finger next, and the burgundy would be after that. It's a little tedious, but it's well worth the effort. Once you knit a row, you will see that the cast on blooms, it gets fuller, as in this mitten here. When you are casting on, you are facing the right side of the work. So if you're going to work a piece flat, the first row you would work would be a wrong side row. 